This is the Raw Tool 4 motherfucking bike festival. This is not the, I've still got an eating disorder, shit cunt, my daddy didn't give me enough money or love, fucking, I've got issues festival. This is like getting it done, motherfucker. This, this is not like, I'm going to network just so I can make more money festival. No, 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 no. This is a free community motherfucking event. If you don't like it, fuck off, don't come. I, I uh, have a little knee injury that I've had for almost a year, or just about a year now, and it's kind of, you know, it's just static, like it hasn't gotten worse, but it hasn't really gotten any better t either, I don't, or very slightly better. I've also been like, not, you know, I, I was kind of dumb with it, because it's never caused me really pain, but it's been, uh, just, I, I know there's something like, it's not like, how strong it used to be so pretty lame but um basically why it happened was because i just overtrained one time just overtrained and i didn't even think i was overtraining i was being like super i thought i was being so prudent but if, if you're if your body mass index is over 18 i i uh, a lot of people say you should not you should not run a fucking step and i totally agree with that now um i, I don't think i'm ever gonna run again in my life I'm, I'm, you know, I love riding my bike, and that's what that's what I'm gonna stick to. But I, it, when you're like eating super clean, when people say eating clean, that's like kind of arbitrary. When you're eating fruits and vegetables, whole grains, legumes, you know, in that order of priority. So fruit first. When you're eating that way, this way, you get more fucking energy and you just feel the ability to train. I, um, I, I remember one time, like it wasn't the time that I got injured, but I just went out for a 13 mile run with like no training and I was fine the next day, like no soreness whatsoever, which you, I guarantee if you're eating crap, if I was eating crap, I would not have been able to do that. I'd be like barely able to walk the next day, you know? So, I, yeah, I did, like, half marathon that day with no training. It was totally fine the next day. I didn't even really stretch. I stretched for, like, two minutes or something. So, yeah, be careful eating raw food, um, <laughs> eating lots of fruits and vegetables. Um... Yeah, the whole, like, nutrient deficiency thing is fucking bullshit. You should eat something that makes you feel like shit so that uh, you, <laughs> you're, like, to keep you healthier. Like, oh, yeah, this food, like, doesn't make me feel good, but I need to eat it. Bullshit. Bullshit. The more fruit I eat, the better I feel, man. I got some rice in here. I got, like, sweet potatoes. I got beets and purple cabbage. There's tomato sauce and an avocado. So lots of food in there, um, but mo most of the time I'll skip the rice. I'm, um, I'm just coming off like a little salt bender, so I'm like weaning myself off with some rice. But um, yeah, that's why raw, raw food is dangerous. I think as long as you're like actually eating, you're getting enough calories, get getting enough food. It's a very healthy way to eat, and I, I really prefer it eating that way. So, do what makes you feel good, but be careful with your training. I swear to God, like, the, the less training you do, the better. Just do bare minimum, and you'll be slim as fuck, be fit as fuck. And uh, you'll be able to do it for life. So, long term, think long term, you know. Um, now, I've, with this knee injury, like, I probably messed up, like, the next, um, you know, several years of my life, and... Or maybe, you know, like, realistically, like, I'm, I'm totally fine. I can, I can function and go about my daily activities and do everything totally fine. But I'm afraid in the future, maybe I'm, I'm going to start, like, degenerating. So really wish I didn't make that mistake. Um, it's, it's about listening to your body, but you got to use your mind. you got to be smart. Don't fucking run. <laughs> like, don't become an avid runner if you're going to be doing it on concrete every day. Or if you are not, like, rail fucking thin. I mean, like thinner than the thinnest guy, <laughs> you know, like, don't be an avid runner, <laughs> or, or, or if, unless you're, like, a little kid, I think it's good, like, if you're young, to, uh, 
to build that like bone density and that strong cartilage when you're still growing. But when you're my age, I'm like 20, 23 going on 24. Um, not really a smart thing to get. Just ride a bike, man. You can do so much more exercise on a bike. You can burn way more calories, get your cardio way better and just preserve your body, preserve your joints. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, eat your fruits and vegetables, fucking rock out, and have a good day. Peace. Thanks for watching. And another thing I forgot to add, I was actually, um, a runner, like, through high school and middle school, too. I was not, like, the best, craziest runner out there, but I was, like, team captain of the cross-country team junior year. I didn't do it senior year, because I started getting into, like, drugs and shit like that, and when you do drugs, you just don't, <laughs> you know, everything else falls by the wayside, so, um... Yeah, like I had the tissues built up, and I still just um, like overdid it. Like I wasn't careful. I uh, a couple rules to live by: do it, do it slow. Don't do it if you if not if you need to lose weight. Don't do it if you could healthfully lose weight. You need to be like as thin as possible if you want to be a serious runner. And uh, don't do it on concrete all the time. It doesn't matter who you are. Shouldn't be doing that. Um, so just basically if you've got any fucking doubts, just don't be a runner. You don't need to do it. Just get on your bicycle. Seriously. And if, if, if the really important thing is doing something every single day, so do something small, but don't fucking skip days. Like big mistake, man. Skip. Um, I don't know. I'm just looking at myself, not the camera. <laughs> do it every single day. Don't skip days. You're a bitch if you skip a day. Or, I mean, you know, take like one day off a week, something like that. But exercise it absolutely should be a daily thing, so don't try and be a fucking superstar. Like, even me, like, I, was, I still haven't learned my lesson. Last year, I was a, uh, I was riding my bike to work like two, three, four times a week, uh, maybe five. And, um, so I was doing like 100 miles a week, but I was also. Like, a lot of weeks, I would just, you know, I, those weeks that I was riding to work twice was because I was trying to be, like, a crazy man on the weekends and do, like, 50 miles or try and do, like, 100-mile rides on the weekends and stuff all the time. And I think that's awesome. Like, going out doing adventure riding is great. But really, think about what's really important for the planet and stuff. Like, commute. I think this year, I'm not going to do so much on the weekends. I'm going to just kind of chill out, like, make YouTube videos, stuff like that. Maybe actually, like, visit some friends who I haven't seen in a long time. Um, and still get my hundred miles a weekend by actually being like ecologically responsible and riding my bike to work. So, you know, just think, think like simple living, just like chill out, ride your bike to work and stuff. And you will be fitter than fuck and fit in like a, an important way too. Cause you got like your social fitness, mental fitness, physical, like, you know, feels like uh, all kinds of different stuff. Like just your, uh. What other kinds of fitness are there? There's it's all different types of fitness. Like you can be musically fit, you can be artistically fit, you can be, um, you know, fit in terms of like interacting with the opposite sex, or uh, you know, there's just so many different types of fit, types of fitness you can focus on. So, um, think it, think about just like being consistent. That's so so important. Doing it every single day. Um, uh, all right, so I'll get out of your face. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. More coming soon. And I'm so stuffed I can barely stand right now. I just oh, I'm gonna unbutton my pants and just go to bed. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, good night.